So I'm going to show my outside gym. Um, this pole here is for uh, doing the human flag. As you notice, this is kind of at an angle. Um, show better over here. Um, it's down lower here and it goes up and it's got the two tires. The reason I have it set up like this, I'm not real sure the, the logs are going to work out because some of them are lighter than the other ones or heavier, however you want to look at it. Anyway, um, I put some blocks here too. Uh, and the bottom lip is lower down than these two top ones. And the reason I do that is so um, my calves already have a slight stretch about this much. So that helps with um, athletic performance, jumping and, and running, etc. You know, so uh, plus it, it blows the freaking calves up big. Um, so anyway, I do a deadlift shrug calf raise off this and it's a neutral grip. Um, and then I have to get some more dumbbells. I, I, uh, I want to get about 10 more, uh, maybe, maybe at least six more, um, but be able to go from a lighter weight 50 to, you know, 120, 140, somewhere in there. There's my, uh, ball and chain. I take it out in the yard and swing it once in a while, but here's my, uh, I take this off and I do, uh, uh, forearm wrist curls with it. I also put it in here for my hand. Um, it's got a, a ball in here, so it, it's uh, uh, it fits perfectly in here, and it helps when I'm when I'm doing the leveraging, kind of like a uh, a uh, uh, well anything to do with like a, a hammer leveraging. So it works out that really well. Um, and then I've got dumbbells. I do bent over rows, curls, various curls. And clean and jerk is the main one that I that I love to do in here. Um, right now the bike the bike kind of broke on me, so I'm gonna get another bike. But this is my leverage bench press. Um, it's kind of like a push press. Uh, I think is the right word for it. I'm not sure. It is. It does actually hit the pecs really hard though. But I've stacked three on there, and um, I got a when i do it i gotta next time i gotta put a strap over it because these are kind of this is kind of a wobbly thing and i don't i don't want to die but anyway um i got another one here with the the squat uh leveraging as well so everything that i do is starts out in a low position um, and one thing i wanted to say too is um, where i stand um, on all these areas i've i've put down i put a level down and made sure it's exactly correct uh and then um, I also put a, uh, um, I wrap this, so if this does collapse, it's got another one there. This one's pretty stout. I don't think it's going to crush down anytime soon. And, and because of the most of the weight is right here. So, um, so I think I'm safe there. I put this on here with three tires. I'm, I'm looking at, you know, getting bigger tires, of course. But anyway, I put this here. This is a, uh. I just add blocks to it and I go up, I go about five feet and I do the ring push-ups off this. Um, and uh, I can also do, I gotta get a weight vest and so I can continue to, um, to get a little bit stronger with calisthenics. Uh, and then as you see, there's baseballs hanging. I do, uh, I do chin-ups off these, uh, supinated chin-ups, pronated or uh, neutral grip. And I grab right here just simply because it helps the grip. Um, this really builds the grip really fast. I gained like 60 pounds on a grip within a short, really short time. So um, anyway, I'm going to go back here. And I'll show you um, these right here uh, are my, uh, these are my farmer's carry. They're hose, as you see, the garden hose. And it's pretty thick. Um, I've got pretty big hands and it's barely fitting right there. And it's kind of, you got to figure out the balance to it too when you're picking it up. I've got a, a tire that I haven't sprinted with in a while, but I got to, I'm going to start. Um, I put a bolt through here and this is my, I put it on the road and sprint with it. Um, 25 yards is what I run with. Here's my log. It's not super heavy. Um, it's, it's actually, it's about a three quarters of the weight of the max weight that I've, um, that I work out with. So it's not super heavy, but it's, it's definitely heavy. And then I got my 506 pound tire that I flip. Uh, my best so far is 21 reps, uh, continuous. So, um, it's definitely a, a really difficult workout. 
uh, this one, flipping a tire is actually pretty, pretty hard. It builds a lot of the muscles uh, of a human body. In fact, farmers carry and log carry, they all kind of do that. A lot of people don't realize when you do stuff like this, it's like real world training. Um, this log press, uh, as you can tell, it's got, uh, my brother-in-law cut these off of a dumbbell, welded it, and then he made these. As you can see, they're loose. I got to get them tight again. Um, but uh, my wife's uncle came over and he used a saw, cut this out. And then I used these uh, dumbbells and uh, uh, stuck the handles through there. And here, they, and here it is. It's a neutral grip uh, type grip. So it's, it works out really well. Um, I love this thing. It's, it builds the shoulders really well. And it's an awkward lift. So it's a... It's a really good thing to to train with it actually builds your core more than you would realize as also because uh when you press anything over your head as well as the clean and jerk when you do that um, exercising anything that goes over your head you're actually hitting your abdominals um, really hard people don't realize that <clears throat> so it's an excellent workout and uh this is my gym man this is it pretty much i as you see there's a an old hose right here um, that was my battle ropes that I made out of garden hose I filled them up with sand and uh, and gravel and I just beat the ground while it snapped off one day and uh, I got to get some more but that's it man this is this is my training this is my full body exercise uh, area I got to fix the the bench press area up a little bit it's a little bit off as you can tell it's kind of uh, i don't know if the board is broken or what have you but as you can see the pallet slid over a little bit so i probably got to hop it over um, and restabilize it make sure it doesn't kill me <clears throat> and then i need uh, a couple other things i'm going to get a, a bench so i can start bench pressing i'm going to do dumbbell benching because i i like dumbbells better than i do the bar uh, it's just who i am <laughs> but anyway um y'all have a good day and and uh, take care.